detrimental, just absolutely detrimental those substitutions were to, uh, to, to our performance. I, I'm lost for words. I really are. I really am. I had to restart this because I was just... I, I, this. I, I, I can't put into words how poor and how detrimental to a game that those substitutions can be. But we saw it. We saw it. We really did. Clear as day. Um, we'll, we'll get into it further, but Kepa for... Uh, I just want to kind of reel these off so that I can get into what I, what I really want to have to say. Um, Fafana, seven. Badia Shield, seven. Faultless, really. No issues with either of them. It's the geezer in the middle, really. A four for Koulibaly. Absolutely stinks. He's, he had a couple of good games, those three games. He's had some good performances lately. I, I just don't get how you can get skinned like that. I, I, I really do not know. A, a player of his experience, his size, his ball knowledge, which is looking little, you know, pretty, pretty low these days. I don't get how he can get beaten that easily. That easily. Just, uh, uh, I can't, I, I, I'm so lost for words in so many regards to this game. It really is something else. How we can go and beat a, a Dortmund side after they've won 10 games in a row in all competitions to then draw in, in just the most negative fashion against this Everton side is absolutely just shambolic really is it really is we're one nil up we're one nil up and he brings gallagher on what's that about what is that about then we concede immediately pretty much immediately uh, immediately uh, i just i can't be, i can't be asked i can't be asked reese james wins a penalty we go two one up you think oh you never know a couple of minutes later Brings off Kovacic, who, I mean, fair enough, wasn't necessarily his day-to-day. -day. Didn't have a terrible game at all. Um, if anything, I've, I, I thought he was more involved than, than uh, in a long time. It, it really, it was, it was never going to be an easy game for him in that middle. Um, but I, I honestly thought he had a decent game. Again, not his best performance. Um, Enzo, a seven. Really, really, really good. Really, really good. Um, just continues to be solid. Um, I can't actually remember if I've given Chilwell a rating, but James, again, there were solid performances from all these players, from several players around. But not as a collective either. It was just, oh God, it was just possession football with no end product. Um, and we relied on a penalty again. Um, it's like when Jorginho was here. I mean, during that time when he was just scoring penalties for fun, relying on penalties. Um, I'm fairly sure I've given Chilwell an eight, which I, I just to preface, I had forgotten to change his, so I'm going to put the, put it as a seven. But again, just a just a good performance from him. <sighs> just just consistent, consistently good, consistent in everything he does. Really good. Um, I'm so dejected. I'm so dejected. That was so avoidable, man. Oh. Why are you starting Pulisic? Jeez. Oh. I, I, I like the Badia Shield one's fine because we're coming up against a team that loves their set pieces and, you know, aerial balls. It's going to be, you know, ideal if we play Kukre, uh, Badia Shield over Kukre. That's fine. That makes perfect sense. But but I just I don't understand what what Pulisic just got back from injury. What is the need to to start him? What's the thought process behind that? Well, it's just so weird. Brilliant goal from him that was offside, but all the same, all the same, just a strange one. I'm not having a go at him. I'm not having a go at him at all. But it's just one of those ones he's just getting battered all over the pitch as well, as usual. 
which is not nice to see. Getting hit in the head with the ball. <laughs> um, he's just an infuriating player to watch. But again, it's, he didn't have a terrible game. Just, it's the, it's the substitutions. It's the substitutions. It's, it's Chelsea players not being clinical enough. Um, but it's it's the substitutions as well. Kai Havertz, seven. Brilliant penalty once again. Um, I feel like that might be a bit high, honestly, but I, I I think he had a decent game. He's he's just playing well at the moment. He really is. It's just, again, the consistency needs to remain. And Jao Felix, an eight for him, our man of the match. Um, but again, the substitutions, the substitutions. Oh, Jao Felix, brilliant goal from him. Not that I saw it because technical difficulties with, uh, with, with, with just stuff on screen. But jeezy, peeps. <laughs> Those substitutions. 76th minute. We're winning. 2-1. Couple minutes later, brings off Kovacic. So mixes up our entire pivot situation that's working fine. It's working fine in this game. They weren't going to score. They weren't going to score at all. And he brings on Loftus-Cheek for no reason whatsoever. Chukameka for Felix. Ah, uh, what? Chalaba for Fafana. What? I, I just, I don't understand. I don't understand the thought process in this geezer's head. It absolutely confuses me beyond belief. I, I just don't get it. I, I'm rambling at this point. It's been a very short player ratings today. Um, but a short temper is what I have today after watching that pile of absolute poo. Just poo is all I have to say about that. Absolute poo. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe. Hit the, hit the bell notification, all that stuff. Let me know how you felt about this game. I just feel like those substitu substitutions lost us the game. The, but by no means we'll be playing brilliantly. By no means. But Jesus Christ, talk about negative football, negativity, encapsulated. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Harry. Enjoy your two weeks off from Chelsea because after that, we need it. After that, we need it. All the best. Peace.